Hi everyone, myself Mohammad Bilal Sajid, an electronics engineering student from UAT Texla. Currently, I am in my final years and I am here to present you with my study that is on cracking the emotional code, identifying emotions through electrons phalograms. The co-authors for my study are Engineer Muhammad Umar Khan, Dr. Muhammad Faraz, Dr. Sayyid Zuhayb Hassan Akwi, Engineer Smail Aziz and Gabriel Axel Montes. Let us have a brief look at uh, what are the table of contents that we are going to cover in this presentation. First, I will introduce you with emotions and behavioral and physiological signals and at last emotional model that is the basic building block for this study. Then we will have a look on the literature review. Then I will present you with my methodology. Then I will tell you results and discussion and at last I will conclude this presentation. Now let us uh, let me introduce you with uh, what are emotions. Emotions are a full display of human consciousness and behavior that reflects both inwardly experienced emotions and outwardly observed physiological responses. Positive emotions may improve relationship with others and our ability to cope with uh, obstacles while negative emotions can damage our mental and physical wellness. With an increasing number of applications for human computer interfaces, the demand for automatic emotion identification has increased. Now let me introduce you with behavioral signals and physiological signals. Behavioral signals are speech, facial expressions, body language and physiological signals are ECG, EMG and EEG. They are not susceptible and not subjective. In context with emotions, ECG measures heart activity and indicates physiological arousal and it does not provide us with balanced information. While EMG measures facial activity, facial muscle activity and uh, captures emotional expression and they can also be faked uh, while EEG measures brain sig electrical signals and they are promising for emotional identification because they are, provide us with both valence and arousal information that are most accurate and uh, they are most reliable. Now let us have a look on the emotional model. Uh, this was the emotional model that was represented by James Russell and it was called a James Russell Studi emotional model. It is a two-dimensional parameter for emotional classification uh, as shown below. Like violence represents positive and negative emotions ranging from pleasantness to unpleasantness and arousal depicts the level of activity ranging from high to low. This is the literature review that I considered uh, during this uh, research. Most of, of the authors used deep data set and uh, most of them uh, acquired uh, accuracy of uh, uh, between 80 to 90 percent with four classes and those who acquire uh, accuracy greater than 90 percent have their uh, models inefficient or uh, uh, like it was also uh, and some uh, uh, authors got 94.98 percent with accuracy using spot vector machine but their classes were two. So, for four classes problems, we re address our methodology as this. Uh, we have Demers data set pre-processing stage, feature extraction, adaptive synthetic, and feature selection stage. This is the block diagram for my proposed study. First, I have a Demers data set that I uh, uh, acquired uh, from online uh, uh, available website. And then uh, we have pre-processing -pre stage, then we have feature extraction stage, then we have feature selection stage and at last for classification I used fine canon. These all are uh, explained in the upcoming slides. So what is the Demers data set? It includes raw EEG and ECG signals from motion and recognition. The dataset contains 14 channel EEG data from 23 volunteers exposed to 18 emotion inducing videos. Emotional categories include excitement, amusement, fear, sadness, disgust, etc. High quality equipment, Shimmer 2 ECG sensor, emotive epoch wireless EEG headset was used in controlled laboratory conditions. The sampling rate for EEG signals was 128 Hz. This is the depiction of 14 channel data from Dreamers as you can see. Now let us come uh, to pre-processing stage. 
for firstly we divided the data into 30 second segments per subject then we applied band stop filter to remove power line interference that is uh, we used uh, frequency ranging from 48.5 hertz to 51.5 hertz then we used four band pass filters to extract delta theta gamma alpha and beta waves and one uh, high pass filter uh, to extract gamma waves to extract brain signals For feature extraction, we employed these specific features that are Shannon energy, log energy, adjot parameters that are activity, mobility, and complexity. Then we applied power spectral density. Now coming towards the feature matrix, we have six features and uh, as we know that we have five brain signals and 14 channels so for multiplying these we got 420 columns and uh, feature matrix and uh, we had uh, 117 segments per subject for, so for 23 subjects we had 2691 observations and for label column we used a threshold of 2.5 uh, while uh, to address four um, classes like high result high valence for joy if both are high uh, above 2.5 threshold then we call it high arousal high valence that is joy and so on for others high arousal low valence low arousal low valence low arousal and high valence so <coughs> as my observations and labels are imbalanced so we have uh, a problem of class imbalance which causes biased model performance poor generalization and other issues so for solving that we used adaptive synthetic sampling method my majority class was high rosal high valence that contains one two four zero observations minority classes were uh, other three high or the low valence low of the low valence and low of the high valence so we applied addition to uh, cater that and uh, then we uh, used data augmentation technique to create a new balanced data sheet which was uh, of 4997 observations as you can see from the flow chart feature selection as we know that feature selection serves the essential role of refining the feature set by identifying and retaining only those features that make significant contributions to the classification process. It helps us reduce computation. So to up for that approach, we used Chi-Scale Test, a popular feature selection method. We selected 50 best features out of 420 using the Chi-Scale Test. Now let us uh, discuss the results and discussion for results we used matlab's classification learner tool for classification using various machine learning algorithms knn uh, algorithm was employed for classification and regression problems it was straightforward simple to use analyze on distance from function and the value of k for categorizing cases faster training time as compared to support vector machine or linear regression it learns from data set only and it does not involve complex parameter tuning for comparison uh, uh, we use other classifiers uh, like ensemble neural network weighted knn and support vector machine and their uh, accuracies were 88 percent 87.5 percent and 86.4 percent respectively then we used fine knn with tenfold cross validation to improve accuracy and we used uh, we got accuracy of 91.1 percent fine knn uh, is like uh, we have the k value of one so the class wise accuracy is also presented in the confusion matrix and this is my confusion matrix for fine knn as we can see from the confusion matrix we had 78.2 percent uh, accurately predicted class one class two was accurately predicted in 90 90.8 percent and 96.8% uh, uh, was uh, true for class 3 and 98.4% was true for class 4. Uh, by comparing it with the previous methods, our proposed method uh, uses Riemers dataset and find KNN and, and uh, achieves 91.1% accuracy for 4 class problems.
now conclusion to conclude that my proposed methodology focuses on four emotions that are pleasure sadness joy and anger pre-processing stage includes four band pass four uh, band pass one band stop filter and one high pass filter they all are infinite impulse response filters fine can and classifier achieved a classification accuracy of 91.1% with faster training time that is approximately 25 seconds future work will concentrate on exploring other features and decomposition techniques and we uh, 